Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a lot of fun because I'm gonna be sharing with you what I got my kids for Valentine's Day. So it is getting to near the end of January, so Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So I did end up picking everything up from Target. I just kinda of wanted to make it a one-stop shop pretty quick and easy. And um, I'm pretty happy with the finds that I did gather. So. I have three children. I have a 13 year old daughter, a six year old daughter, and a nine year old son. So let's go ahead and jump into um, what I got for my oldest daughter. She is, um, like I said, a teenager. And I'm going to have everything that I show you guys in today's video linked down below. So if you see anything you like and you want to shop yourself, then you can. But let's go ahead and start with hers. So, um, okay. First of all, I really wanted to get all my kids Valentine's Day pajamas. I was not able to find any for my son. I think they were out of his size. But I did get the same pair for both of my daughters. Um, however, I had to do one where I picked up in store and one where it's shipping to me. So my youngest daughter, her pajamas are actually supposed to be arriving tomorrow. Um, but I had to show you guys in the video how cute are these. They're like pink with like a dark pink um, little heart print and I did not realize how soft these pajamas were you guys so I was like way more impressed when I got them but they are pants and then the matching top is a long sleeve top so really great for the winter time I think the girls are gonna look so cute in these and I love that I was able to get matching for them and then I also decided to get all three of my kids new little baskets for Valentine's Day, but I kept them very neutral. So I could technically use it for other holidays um, or even like decor baskets around my house if I wanted to, which I'll show you that in a second. But um, I have also picked up this like shredded paper for all three of the baskets. I just went with this dark pink color. I got each of the kids a little um, lint truffle, like, you know, little lint truffle chocolates. Um, we all love these in our house, and I just thought the little mini versions were so cute. Um, the milk chocolate's our favorite, so and I thought the red was cute for Valentine's Day. Going along with candy, I know that all my kids love anything sour related. So I went to the candy section, and I found these sour strips. Um, which I thought was cute how they're pink and then you have the red here. So I know they'll really like those. Um, in the Valentine's Day section, I did check out what they had for candy and chocolates and found this little like lips, um, chocolate lips like on a stick and thought that was really cute. I think those were only like $3. I got another one for my youngest daughter but hers is like a pink heart. So thought this would be cute to put in their basket. I think that's all I got for candy. I didn't go overboard with candy, you guys. Um, I do like to get practical gifts for them, whether it be Christmas, Valentine's Day, Easter. Um, so I found also in the Valentine's Day section, this super cute little chapstick um, little set. And this one is Hello Kitty. My oldest daughter loves Hello Kitty. And I also love how it's, it's like in a tin container so she can put the lid on it and whenever she's not using it for a chopstick she could put whatever she wants but how cute she is getting a little bit into makeup you guys so i kind of browsed the makeup section and ColourPop had these really cute like eyeshadow palettes um and i thought this one was perfect for Valentine's Day, it is the Blush Baby. So they're all very like pinky colors um, and I just thought it would look so cute like in the basket since it's pink. Sorry if my light is like so bright, there you go. But super cute and I think she'll really like that and again, since she's getting into makeup, she'll actually use the colors. Also thought would be really cute in her basket, um, my daughter loves jewelry. I found this super cute set of like choker necklaces again gonna let it focus for you guys but they're like pinks and golds and um, I think there's even a heart on one of them so I was like this is such a perfect set will look super cute in her 
casket. Here's the heart. They're like golden hearts. The second to last one. Not sure if you can see, but super cute. I think she'll like all these regardless. Obviously, they have the, the pink chokers too, so super cute for Valentine's Day. Another practical item that I thought would look really cute in her basket would be a claw clip. So I was happy to find this pink one. Everything I got was pretty reasonable as far as pricing goes. Obviously, when you're shopping for three kids, it starts to add up. But I think everything I got, I definitely spent under $10 for each item, some under $5. So um, I think this will look really cute in there. And then I also picked up some red ribbon because I was thinking maybe I would wrap up the pajamas and tie a red bow on there. Um, we'll have to play around with that and see how I decide to do that. And then lastly, you guys, these are the little baskets I was talking about. They're called like decorative rope baskets. I think it's just the material um, that it's made of. So it is like a cloth material. Um, so you wouldn't wanna like get it wet or anything like that. It wouldn't be very easy to clean, but I do love like how simple and neutral and cute it is and could totally be used for so many different things. But that is all I got for my oldest daughter. Let's go ahead and move on to my son and he is nine. Okay, so for my son, again, we got the same basket. We got the same shredded paper to go at the bottom. He also is getting the lint um, truffles. And then instead of the pink sour strips, I went with the strawberry for him um, just to switch it up. But it is red, so I thought it would be also good for Valentine's Day. And then because I was not able to find pajamas for him, you guys, I looked through like the boys section of clothing and I ended up getting a really good deal on this red sweater. So I was pretty happy with that. I feel like it's such a nice sweater. It's like a quarter zip right here. It's really great quality. Um, and I got it on sale for $11. It was on clearance for $11. So it's actually cheaper than the pajamas. Um, the pajamas were only 12 though, so still a great deal. But you guys, he could wear this for Valentine's Day. He could even wear this next Christmas. Um, he could just definitely wear this through the winter time. So I thought this was a really great find and a good alternative to like the pajamas. I decided to throw in a prime for him. Honestly, you guys, for me, I think boys are much harder to shop for. Please comment down below if you have a boy and if you agree um, or if you know the struggle. And um, I just wanted to keep things, like everything that he likes is like, PlayStation games which are pricey or you know things like that he has so many different footballs soccer balls so it was like really hard to figure out what to get him but I thought getting him a pink prime would be cute since a lot of his stuff is red so kind of mixing the red and pink for Valentine's Day in his basket would be a good idea my son does love to use chapstick he gets very chapped lips um, so I thought these little Burt's Bees uh, be mine Valentine's chapstick was really cute i'm hoping that's focusing for you guys but um it's the strawberry flavor he loves strawberry and it's red cute for valentine's day my son does play soccer so um you know at target they have the cute little they even have a football one too and he does enjoy football but um we went with soccer but the cute little heart tin that is shaped like a um, or that has the you know soccer ball look on there. So I um, thought this would be really cute and definitely like kind of a more boyish thing. Obviously it could go for a girl too, but thought this would be cute to add to his basket. And lastly for my son's basket, I was pretty proud of this find. Again, it was really hard to shop for him, um, but he is just recently getting into Pokemon cards. So I found this cute little pack at Target. I think this was only like five or $6. Um, but how perfect will it fit in the basket? Even has a little red on there for Valentine's Day. So I thought this was um, a really great find and something that he'll be excited to see in his basket. But that is everything I got for my son. And let's go ahead and finish off with my youngest daughter, Penelope, and she is six. Okay, lastly, you guys, for Penelope, one thing that I got her differently um, than the others is I found this cute little four pack of bath bombs. Um, my girl loves to take baths and she loves bath bombs and she hasn't had one in a while so I think she'll be really excited about these. 
Also, you guys, these were on sale for $3.50. So I was like, that is a steal. Definitely getting this. Thought it would be cute um, for her basket. Again, she got the shredded paper to go at the bottom of her basket. And um, again, the lint chocolate truffles. She also got a set of chapsticks, but for her, I went with the Mickey and Minnie ones. Um, she does like to watch Mickey and Minnie sometimes before school, so I just thought these were cute and different than like the Hello Kitty ones that my oldest daughter got. And again, it comes in a little tin container, so I know she can put whatever she wants in there. That'll be really fun. Again, she got the same basket. Instead of the lips, I got her the little pink heart um, chocolate on a stick. I think she'll really love that she can eat off of the stick, and I thought the pink heart was really cute. And lastly, I also got her the sour strips, um, but I did get her the pink ones. Kind of went like pink for the girls, red for my son, and I usually like to do like the girls on the end and then my son in the middle, like when I'm putting out the baskets. I don't know, it just usually works out that way. Oh, but also we got her those same pajamas, the pink ones with the pink hearts that I got my oldest daughter. We're just waiting for those to be delivered. So that is everything that I got my kids for Valentine's Day this year. I feel like I didn't go too overboard, but definitely got you know a good amount of items for them and that they'll really enjoy and it'll be really cute and I can't wait to put these baskets together we'll go ahead and do that next I'll probably throw a clip in here of me putting together the basket so you can see the final result but
this video I hope it gave you some inspiration if you're still looking to buy things for your kids for Valentine's Day or if you just enjoy this type of content like I do I hope you liked it um, but I will see you guys in my next video bye